Hmm? What we got here? It's a strawberry colada from Dunkin' Donuts. Man, I ain't talking about your damn cool. I'm talking right, about right, the car, right, bro. Right, right. <laughs> this is a 2017, it's a base model 2017 Hyundai Sonata. Rental? Oh, nah, we can't do rental cars. Nope. Video's over. Let's go home. What? Alright, fine, fine. Alright, so we got a rental. Anyway, not the baddest looking rental. To be completely it's kind of clean. It's, it's got like a... So a lot of reviewers on YouTube, they say they don't like the newer design because it's too conservative compared to the old Sonata. I personally disagree. I think it. I like the conservative, more elegant look of it. That's what I was gonna the say. The older like, Sonata was like extra swoopy, and I this like one's got like really elegant. And like the front, I feel like a lot of thinking came into it when it came down to aerodynamics because it looks like this can take a bunch of. <clears throat> a bunch of wind and use it to its advantage basically with these open grills all around here so you're not seeing anything closed off except for like these parts but not getting any fake grills except for these uh, but then again fake plastic but then if I you get, get higher models that's what I'm saying that, if you get a higher uh, model since this is just the base model you can get it with the fog lights I like the fog headlights lights. I mean they're, I not, the they're not like all that but I like them I think on higher end I don't know if this is one of them but on higher end models this is actually an LED strip you know what I like looks fire a lot too you see this chrome right here? Mm -hmm. You have this chrome going right here. Then you have this chrome, but then this chrome will turn into that chrome and bring all the way around. All the way around the windows. But yeah, that clean. looks to see as if that's the only <coughs> chrome it has. The wheels, are, the wheels are lame though. Yeah, the wheels are lame. I mean, this is base model too, so if you get um, <clears throat> the higher end wheels, those look nice. But this one, overall, I like how the entire car looks. Yeah, it got like a fastback kind of like That's what I'm sweepy it's like, design. Even though it's a cool. sedan, it's still elegant and it's still looking sweet. I like that little, that little spoiler right here. It would have been a lot better though. Come, come, come to my position right here. Well, it's like right at the back of the car. Tell me what could have been better. Or what they could have done that would have made it, the back look nicer. I know what you're talking about. It's in a higher model. Dual mm -hmm. exhaust. The dual exhaust. Dual exhaust. Right? Like if you're going to make it, if you're going to make it look like this, you can't pull yeah. one. You know I mean, I mean, this is base though. Like, if you look at the the 2.0 T, the sport one, it has dual exhaust. It don't do shit, but I think <laughs> I think the dual exhaust would look really nice. It would look way better. I like how I like the little spoiler touch to it. That's that's a nice little touch. It makes the car look a little better. It does. And these these tail lights are pretty normal. My favorite part was the headlights, but these tail lights are pretty alright. <clears> so you use uh, regular halogen tail lights. You can get them with LED tail lights, which look a lot better. So they like come and out. And you can get the same into the side. You can get LED headlights also. Yeah, for it. you get LEDs uh, all around, which makes it look a lot better. But going around the back side of the car or the booty end, mm -hmm. it, it don't it don't have like a lot of curves. But like I, like Greg was saying before, it's elegant, and we like elegance. I love elegance. Is that why you have, you drive an elegant vehicle that's broken? Shh. <laughs> you know what? Even though it's broken, it's still elegant. Okay, it's still whatever. We're talking about a 2017. Hyundai Sonata base model. That's what we're talking about. All right. We we're going we're gonna to check out the interior, not right? My car. Not your car? No, I no. thought this was your car. I kind of wish it was. Well, hey, hold on. You said, hold on. You said you wish a Hyundai was your car? Is that what you right. said? I said I wish a Hyundai was my car. Wow. Look at our old videos. And he says like, oh, I don't like no Hyundai's. That's not true. Take a look true. at the old video. That's you gotta look at the old true. video. That's yes, not it true. Is. Because it is true. That's not true because the first. The first car show we've ever been to for next gen, I saw Hyundai's and I was like, "Oh, I might have to go, might have to go Hyundai." I agree Ooh, with you then. Them trolls are gonna clown you. So, them trolls are gonna be like, "Yo, what up, Hyundai?" You know what? Nah, but how's the uh, interior materials? Um, the interior, right here, you have soft touch. Right here, you have soft touch as well. This is hard touch, and then these are hard touch as well. But I like how they have. Three different colors. This is not bad right here. This is like a really fake carbon fiber. Really, really I fake. I like the little fiber. brush metal handle. That's what I'm saying. Like they have That's a bunch of different nice. colors um, integrated onto the doors. Basically, this is. Mm, it's all right. Not great. It's all right. It's decent. Yeah, you're right. For your for your elbow, it could be a lot better. Yeah. 
Let's hop in. Let's see what the interior looks like. Same thing over here, kind of cheap-ish materials going on, but it's not bad. How do you like the interior quality? I like the interior quality. Overall, my I have to say one of my favorite parts while I was driving it was the shifter. I just had my hand on this the entire time. The, like my hand never got off of the shifter, and I like how it looks. It actually looks pretty nice. It's decent. It got like this little glossy thing, which I feel like yeah. And then like it also has fingerprint. It also has like this. What would you say? That silver, not chrome. That's not chrome. Yeah. Mm, yeah, it's like, uh, like a chrome. Kind of like a silverish chrome-ish kind of. Yeah, I see it. But I like that also because, as I was saying, I like how the the entire interior, the dash, and everything is not just one color. You know what I mean? Like there, there's certain vehicles that we reviewed where they were just all black. And it was boring, but this this isn't. You have your silver, you have your black, you have your fake carbon fiber, you have your tan. You have a bunch of difference. You remember the um, Sonata we looked at in uh, Auto Show had like blue stitching? That that was clean. That blue stitching was like, raw. That did look pretty wild. There's a bug in here. I'm gonna kill it. Greg in his natural habitat. Yeah, yeah, get out. Oh, he's still in here. He's still in here. Nah, he's out. You done? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. One thing that I know Ari does not like straight off the rip is this black. Ooh. This shiny black. It's bothering you. Piano See, black. But this fingerprint, right here, fingerprint, fingerprint, fingerprint. This right here is the screen, though. That's the screen. Yeah. But all of this isn't. But to be honest, what what do you think they could have put there to replace that shiny black? That would still make it look nice. Um. I don't know, maybe more fake carbon fiber. Um, I probably want to look right in the dash. Huh? Yeah. I mean, uh, like I, I, mean, I, mean I mean, panel black's already. It's it just looks, not too it much. looks, yeah. It looks Some good of them, the position. whole thing is panel black. It's like, come on, man. That's dirty. It'll get dirty too quick. It would look, it would look doper if it was like wood. Doper? Yeah, doper. Is that a word? I don't know, but I just made it a word. All right, let's let's, let's start. Let's start up. Take a look at these gauges. See how these gauges look. Let's do it. Um, oh yeah, I forgot. Um, the steering wheel looks kind of like a steering wheel. Yeah, it looks normal, but there's a bunch of stuff on here. Um, not a bunch of stuff, but this is basically for your phone. With this, you can change it from FM to AM to Bluetooth to AUX to USB. Yes, you have all those inputs right over here. If you wanted to go ahead and check them out. Yeah, so you got a whole bunch of stuff going on. So USB aux, you got 12 volt outlets and USB aux. Come on, how are you gonna use aux when you got Bluetooth up in there? Exactly. Yeah, get with I mean, the times. You know, some MP3 players don't have don't have Bluetooth. People still use MP3 players though. Yes. Who? We still sell MP3 players. So what? That's for like old people. Who okay, and what if an old person wants this car? We. This video is for everyone. Right. If you're a five-year-old and you got an MP3 player and you want to play some some music in the car with your family, then you can do that. You can do that. Five-year-old ain't buying this car, bro. No, but I'm saying like, what if like his mom gets it or his dad or her, you know what I mean? His uncle. And like they're driving, but he wants to play some music from his MP3 player. Boom. That's how you'd be able to do it. So we, they they made sure that there was an option for everything, basically. Anyway, <laughs> uh, steering wheel is kind of basic. I mean, in personal, it looks decent. Now, I know Hyundai offers like a more sporty looking steering wheel, which looks nice. Uh, obviously, it won't do anything because it's not like a sporty car. But um, let's, let's check out the gauges, see how the gauges look. Doing a system check. And also a cool thing too, I was telling Ari about is when you get in the car, the music this is this music that just starts playing. Yeah, so we'll see in a second. The gauges, I see. I think it's an underrated feature, but when like the font that Hyundai uses for their cars is so nice. Yeah. I don't usually care about stuff like that, but the font is nice. You know what would made this look nicer though? And, uh, yeah. So you know how all over your dash you kind of have you kind of have like those blue accents. Those mm -hmm. lights, yeah. right? If you look down here, you'll be able to see it also. Mm -hmm. It would have been nicer if they could have used like two different colors on the on yeah, the dash. Yeah. You know what I mean? I on mean, the instrument cluster. They usually just use the white uh, lettering in the background, but I don't know. 
but it's just the font they use is nice. I don't, I don't know what it is. 57 mile range. See, here's what Greg likes right here. It's just, it's just so nice. It's Sing just, to me, baby. It's just, exactly. It's just so <laughs> nice. I mean, that's a weird way to say it, but like, it's just, it's just so nice, don't you think? How's that weird way to say it? Like, turn it off, like, boo doo boo doo boo. It's like, goodbye. It's yeah, like, I know. Yeah, girl. But, okay, but, like, what if I was, if I was with, like, a, a girl in the passenger seat and I just say to my car, yeah, sink to me, baby. That's just, that's just weird. <laughs> that's just weird. I mean, not, I mean, <laughs> you I mean, it so. depends on who it is. I guess, I guess. With me, it's all right, though. I won't judge you. Even though I kind of just does it. Here you go. Here's your, here's your gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh yeah, I forgot to show y'all. But the key, basic. No, it's not bad though. So, got the. It's kind of worn out because I mean this is a fucking old FN rental. But yeah, what do you think about the the infotainment center? How do you feel? We nah, we not about to talk about this infotainment. There's way better options. This is base model, so we ain't gonna do one day like that. <laughs> Yeah, but um, even for a base model, I still think this entire situation looks nice. Situation? Yeah. Situation, a situation. Got, got it? Yeah, turn it real quick. Yeah, so, um, I mean, it's basic as hell, though. But if you turn it on, then you just shut it off. It's broken. What was that? That's my, it's the number one. That's an country extra song right there. Mm -hmm. but like, but I mean, it's like, I mean, it's basic, basic stuff. It's nothing crazy. The contacts download. Oops. Is that my phone? I guess I don't know. Download was unsuccessful. Would you like to try again? If you continue having issues, please check the mobile phone status and visit the Hyundai Bluetooth website to confirm Bluetooth compatibility. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, but it, I like how it has like Bluetooth. Uh, for music, because a lot of cars they only have it for um, for hands free calling, yeah. And this one already has hands free calling built in. Then again, this is a 2017, so they're gonna try to add everything we use in today's world into their cars. Basically, so I'm gonna like, check out the back. Seat, unlike though. my car, I would love to check out the back seat. Unlike my car, doesn't even have a damn tape player. Wow, he's mad at something. I don't know what he's mad at. Why are you mad, bro? What are you talking about? What you mad about? Is he mad about something? There's a lot of space back here. Just want to point that out real quick. Yeah, look at your leg room. Damn. This is, and you're sitting space. behind me, and I usually like, put this the seat was, back Yeah, under. you were driving in the... I haven't changed the seat yet. I kept it the same way you had it. And, like, look at this. There's still a bunch of, there's still a bunch of leg room. Yeah, there's a lot. Plenty of space. Yeah, I'm comfortable, too. Damn, and this is comfortable. And then you got this right here. It's chilly. You know? it's, a, it's, a big, it's a big sedan. It's not huge, but it's a decent size. Yo, I like the, the leg room. is nice. I mean, this is really good. This is better than like the Nissan we did. Yeah, I fell asleep back Malibu. here yesterday. Yeah, you can do a lot of stuff back here. You I like it. I'll change that to blue, though. Keep it PG. Keep it PG? What do you mean? Yeah. I didn't see anything. You sure? <laughs> oh, we didn't get locked in the back this time. <laughs> but, um... Uh, trunk space, the gray will so kindly open the trunk. Boom. Bunch of space in the trunk. There's a, there's a lot of space. A the camera doesn't do it trunk. justice, but of course, we gotta go ahead and do our normal. Put Greg back there. I ain't going back there. Yeah, this is, man, this got way more space than the Malibu, too, I think. Bro, there's mad space in here. You could legitimately fit two people up in here. You really could. Alright, so look where Greg's at, right? Like my, and my then look my, how much space my back is them. up against the seats right now. There's mad space. You could literally fit another small person up in there. Not that you want to put people in there, but you know. You can fit multiple suitcases. Yeah, 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 suitcases, suitcases. All right, go show them the entry. Just stay right here. Yeah. Find the G spot. Damn, man. <laughs> Kids. What's wrong? He said he meant um. You know, but you spot. you're making it seem like it's a big deal if they didn't know what it was. Parents watching. <laughs> Alright, so we got what? 2.4 four liter, liter inline, inline four. four. And it's good for 185 horsepower. 185 horsepower and it's a front wheel drive. A six speed shiftable automatic. So you can change it from both manual to automatic. Plus, this car is going to have eco and sport driving modes as well. You're right, it's hot. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> so, 
Ari, do you know specifically what Eco does for for your car for, as far as a Hyundai? Um, for most cars, um, Eco is going to limit your throttle response, so it's not going to be as peppy. Yeah, it so was really slow when fuel. I put it in Eco. Yep, it's going to lay up, lay up the steering wheel. So, um, as far as I know, it's all about the throttle response. It's going to be really laggy. It's not going to really go. It's not going to be laggy. But, um, and then sport, like if you step on it, it's not gonna do much. But sport will be the complete opposite of that. It's yeah. gonna hard. It's gonna stiffen your steering. Stiffen um, the steering. Not in this car, but some cars are stiffened suspension. Not this one. It's not at that kind of level. Oh, but um, it does make a difference with the brakes too. I noticed that as well. With the brakes on uh, cars, it makes uh, gives you like uh, grippier brakes. The weird part is. is no, the weird part is that when I didn't leave it in, when I took it out of sport. I felt as if there was a better um, throttle response, but we kind of... I didn't notice that. I thought it was better. Yeah, I was about to say. As we were just driving it right now, we kind of realized that I was wrong. Yeah. All, right, um, <sighs> all right, I'll drive. I was looking for a charger. Right, let me put here. it in my favorite mode. Boy mode! <laughs> all right, you know what? Let me put it in normal mode. Normal basic ass mode first. It gives you like a little um thing on the display when you... um. Shift it into gear. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. It'll say like reverse drive. Oh. Oh. All right, maybe you're right about the whole like sport I, mode versus. I don't know, man. Yes, because like, as I was saying, I was testing it on the on the, on the the highway. Um, sport mode does, it, it does stiffen your steering wheel a lot. You can easily tell the difference. Easily tell the difference between just normal driving and sport when it comes to your steering. Same with the brakes, it brakes a lot harder. If you gently press on the brakes while in sport, it's gonna brake harder than it would while if you were just regularly driving it. Right, but so acceleration, I have to admit, I'm not sure if sport really makes a difference. I'm putting in sport mode now and I'm just gonna rip it. No, I bet. Don't run into the trees or anything. I'll try not to. Ready? Complete stop. I do complete stop. Yeah, that's fine. Let's see, if you, see if you can peel Torque off. Torque it a little bit. Torque it a little bit. See if you can peel off. I don't think so. Yeah, I did. See, what do you think? All right, and now do the same thing, but not in sport. Not in sport. But not in sport. And tell me, this, tell me if you see a difference. But other than that, while driving it to New York yesterday, this car rides really, really smooth, and it looks good while doing it. That's why I'm so fast. It looks good while doing it. Yeah. Yo, that's one of the other sayings, too. What do you mean? Yo, this car looks smooth, or it, it's, what'd you say? It's smooth, and it looks good while doing it. It rides smooth. It rides smooth, and it looks good while doing it. All it right. does. Let's try it again. But see, look, it picks up more over here. So, so sport, weird. sport, sport might I have a better getup. It, it might, it might, it might have a it better might have up, like less lag in sport, but like, uh, I don't know, that's weird. It might have like that's a little weird. more getup, but with just normal driving on, it, it after a while it picks up even more. I'd have to say after like the first second or two seconds, it picks up more than it would in sport. Yeah, that is weird. I don't, I don't know. That's confusing though. What do you think so far? I'm gonna be real with y'all. I don't like it. No, I'm just yeah, see, I don't wanna yeah, be real. I don't wanna hear that. BS. No, no, I, I was <laughs> waiting. Y'all saw my face, right? I was waiting for it. <laughs> I was just no, I mean, it. all right, so one thing I gotta say, and I'm really impressed by it because they're usually not known for this. This car is comfortable as fuck. It takes oh, comfortable. Real comfortable. <laughs> that's not, that's how much he, he likes to express it. No, it takes bumps really, really well. It is. Like, it's, it's, it's really, it feels almost like a luxury car, which Hyundai's aren't usually like that. Yeah. I mean, the Hyundai's do are usually think, cheap, so it's like. Do you think this kind of feels better than like the 2016 Honda Civic? Would you say? Oh, or? way better. Way? Way better. Way better. But it's different. It's a different I know. Car. I know it's different types of cars, but I'm saying like. Because this the Honda, the Honda Civic that we drove is like the only suspension I can kind of compare to this. Well, no, the Malibu and the Nissan uh, Altima, those are the competing cars, and this is like usually okay. So here's the funny thing: the Chevy, uh, Chevys are usually known for a nice soft suspensions, right? Mm -hmm. We drove that; it felt good. Then that and the Nissan felt good. 
I feel like this feels way better. It does. It's way like, in terms of like ride quality over bumps and stuff. I mean, this is. I can't even believe how smooth this is. I'm trading my car. <laughs> what the Genesis? Yeah. Oh, Genesis. No. no. <laughs> Yo, Hyundai gave me another offer the other day to trade it in for a Sonata. Do now I'm driving a Sonata now. now. Like, hmm. Nah, you definitely shouldn't. Uh, yeah, you should sell it to me first. But anyway, 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 anyway. Are you smoking crack or something? I'm smoking a whole lot of it. Anyway, this is a You're car. Negative influence on the kids, man. Crack means um, cocaine. Anyway, <laughs> what? They're both bad for you. This isn't a drug channel, this is a car channel. Yeah, no, as I was going to say, this is a car that I wouldn't mind getting into every single day. You know what I mean? If this was my daily driver, like, I would not mind seeing this every day. It looks nice. The it exterior looks kind of average for its year. For I think the interior looks nice. It looks kind of average. The exterior is kind of eh, but the interior, I think, looks The nice interior, I gotta say, I don't know why. Out of normal, regular cars, or, I think, I think Hyundai has, um... Some of the nicer interiors out of like your everyday cars. Do you know why I like this interior? Or? Huh? Flush. Oh, damn right. Damn right it's flush. Oh, it's, it's, it is damn flush. Damn right it's flush. Damn right. Is it? Uh, yeah, it is. It is. It is yeah, pretty it flush. Is. You it can't is. lie. It is. Yeah, you're right. But like, as I was saying, I just like all the little accents. Like, all going all around the vents, you have chrome. Going around the knobs, you have chrome, you know what I mean? You have chrome down over here, but then you also have that shiny black. You also have that um, fake carbon fiber. You have that soft touch black. You have the tan. You have the. There's just so many different colors going on. Is hard as well. But like I said in previous videos, I don't care if up there is hard. That one's hard. You, this one you is shouldn't it. be touching it anyway. Who cares? Hey, I can't believe how soft the suspension is. And then you have your shiny black over here. You have. It's just. Nice. The backseat room was nice too. Wow, it sounds like we're praising this car. Are we really praising this car? Nah, I should have a sunroof. I'm not gonna buy it just because oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it doesn't have the sunroof. I mean, you could option for that though. I know, but like I would have to pay more money? No, hell no. What? What? For what's the base price? 22000 well, twenty one thousand, like nine hundred. But does it? All right. Does it feel worth twenty one thousand or more than that? It feels worth twenty one thousand. You think it feels a little worth a little more than that? I'm gonna say maybe kind of. Only because of the suspension. I like the suspension a lot. I'm, I'm surprised. Yeah. I, I usually just, don't even care about suspension, but when I hopped in this, I was like, oh. Like I don't care about all the extra. I don't nice. care about all the extra stuff. I want to physically be able to feel the difference I'm paying. In the car, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I want to like, like if this, if more of this was like softer, obviously the better infotainment that we talked about. That's what I'm saying. I mean the suspension's on point. I keep talking about the suspension's yeah, on point. Yeah, right, smooth. It does. Actually, it feels really, really nice. Like the suspension in this. Yeah, that's right. I'm the one that gets to drive it. You mean I just drove it? I'm gonna drop it off at twelve. Anyway, are right, you getting a little carried away? Oh, that's a nice one. The horn sounds normal. What would your overall rating be? On a scale of what? A scale of one to twelve. One to twelve? Yeah. The hell kind of number is that? Then why the hell did you ask me on on? I don't know if you're gonna say one to ten, one to a hundred. Like why, why the hell would I say one to one thousand? Who says what? Who says one to one thousand? I think some people do. One to ten, all right. It's a one to ten. One to ten. On a scale of one to ten. Probably have to say like eight. Like a good seven or eight. Around there. What do we? This is an unrelated car, but what do we give the fucking? Oh, I'm sorry, kids. He's what do we give the focus? The four focus. I gave that like five a. Or six. I gave at first. I gave that like a three, <laughs> and I was like, okay, a five. Yeah, but, but this realistically, is, I was like, yo, this, this is a, a big three. difference. This is a, this is a big difference. Yeah, this, this is, is a, a big different. Step this up. is a different car. It um, is. For this one, I, I I'm gonna have to stay with stick with like my eight. Like like I'm pretty firm on the eight because like as I said, there could be a little more that would make this a better car, but you get that in all of your higher end models. So once I see one of those higher end models, 
like the most expensive one you can get. It definitely, you, it definitely get like my ten. Because overall, I like how it dried in. I'm rough on cars, so I'm hard on them. So I'm gonna say seven. Seven? Yeah, know, at seven. least it's close to my eight. Why would you say seven? Suspension. Well, I'm saying what makes what makes you think it's not a ten? Everything else. <laughs> And that concludes the video today. <laughs> um, no, I mean, what doesn't it make it a 10? First of all, there's more reliable cars out there. I mean, it's only like the the Camry and the Core that we be more reliable than this, I think. Um, and when you say when you say reliable, like you mean like not breaking down? Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. And then like when it comes to how it looks, or yeah, when it comes Compared to exterior, to like a 2017 Toyota Camry, I gotta go with the Camry. The Camry's definitely taking it. I honestly don't even like how that looks. I love how the Camry looks. No, I'm saying... Or a Nissan Maxima. Mm. No, no, in comparison to like, um... Gorgeous. Like, I'm saying like interior styling and exterior styling compared to like a Mazda 6. Like, those are, look raw. You, you see, you've seen the interiors on the Mazdas. The Mazdas are dope interiors. I mean that's better than this interior. This is more like like Greg said, kind of more elegant and simple, simplified versus the Mazda's like in your face. Like look, boom. Um, but that's what I like. <clears throat> like y'all, y'all seen the inside of my car? Yeah, I mean I like that too. Um, and that's why you would say it's probably not a ten in your book. Yeah, and and because it's a Hyundai. You don't like them? <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, so this car, uh, as I wanted to touch back up, um, touch upon again, it's 28 City, 36 Highway. So remember that. So you're giving them the wrong information. What do you mean? You told them like 35 City before. No, I didn't. You I did. said like 29. No, you didn't. That's definitely. I said, I said your combined miles per gallon is 29. I didn't say anything about City. You said it was like 35 Highway. I don't know what you're talking about. It definitely does. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and do some drive-by shoots. No, not drive-by shootings. Drive-by shoots. <laughs> shooting. It's not drive-by shooting. <laughs> drive-by drive shoots. Drive-bys. We're gonna do yeah, drive-by shoots. Yeah, we're about to do some drive-bys. Like what the? God, I, said, I said shoots. We gotta add the shoots. Uh, we're about sounds, to get arrested. It sounds really, really bad. Uh, that's not even supposed to be in the video anyway. You know, it'd be really bad if like. Like, it would be a coincidence, but, like, if there was a drive-by shooting in this exact same Hyundai Genesis with, like, the same plates, that'd be really bad. I'm snitching on you. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's not gonna happen. I'm gonna go home and sleep after this. Yeah, they'll be knocking on your door like, yeah, like, we had a... Uh, this car was identified in a drive-by shooting. I'd run for the hills. No, I'd take the car and I'd book it. I gotta go put gas. Book it? This thing is slow as... Slow as, slow as heck. <laughs> slow as dark. Slow as bejeebas. Okay. We're going to go ahead and do... No, 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 Well, hold on. This is the end, bro. This is it. I'm this sorry. is the end? Yeah. What's up? What? What's up? What's up? Hold up. I want to show you all a really cool feature, right, that the Hyundai Sonata has. Alright, it's a really dope feature. Y'all can get in base model, higher end models, whatever it is. Okay? Check this out. You don't even have to close the doors. They close on their own. What you mean? <laughs>